Residents in a Grand Forks neighborhood can rest a little easier tonight knowing a suspect in a police standoff is behind bars. After an hours long standoff that caused a shelter in place for a number of residents, 36 year old Samuel Nelson of Grand Forks is in jail. Nelson was wanted on several warrants. Witnesses claim Nelson had a weapon and as a precaution, police issued a shelter in place and set up a perimeter in the area. Valley News Team's Joseph Ojo was on the scene all afternoon, speaking with people in the area who are now trying to move on from a chaotic situation. The scene is much quieter now. After a man with active warrants attempted to evade police, barricading himself inside an apartment complex. An unimaginable fear gripped the minds of James Gonzalez and his family as they were having lunch Monday afternoon. Nelson ran from officers and made his way into an apartment complex where Gonzalez says his survival instincts took over. Turns into a defensive mode, you know, where you just uh, protect and preserve life. You know, that's just really, um, that's really the most important thing. Gonzalez, who says he was enjoying his family day, was quickly alerted by his fiance that a man with a gun was trying to break into their building. And Gonzalez says he then sprung into action, breaking a window in the back of his apartment to get his family to safety. No matter what the circumstances are, you're going to do what you have to do for your family. Several residents tell us they were shaken up by Monday's events as well. Yeah, I was on my lunch break when I came home, um, and then they pulled the police car behind my car, and they told us to get back in the building. And I was on my lunch break, just eating lunch, and we just could not leave. And Cal Braguner tells us that while he had no idea what was going on throughout the whole standoff, at around 5.30 when police arrested the man, he was more than grateful. Of course, I'm so happy. I'm glad the family got out safe. You know, that was the one thing I was concerned about was everybody in that building. You know, I don't know what the guy was capable of. I didn't know what was going on. In Grand Forks, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. Nelson was medically evaluated on scene by ambulance crews before being taken to the Grand Forks County Jail. He was arrested on previous warrants and charges for today's incident are pending.